Now let's reassemble the engine. Once the crankcase has been well cleaned, especially in the machine areas, we now work on the crankshaft side. The longest part is the clutch. We insert it in the right side of the crankcase, taking care not to damage the oil seal. After that, we are going to put joint compound on the left side, trying to spread it out as evenly as possible. cercando di stendere la pasta in modo più uniforme possibile. After having applied the compound, lightly clean the inside of the crankcase and close the crankcase back up. Always being careful not to damage the oil seal. Now we are going to insert the three 6x45 and the two 6x30 screws. Finally, we check it with the tightening torque wrench set at 12 newton meters. The next step is to reinsert the three bushings. After that, we will reinsert the starter unit from which we have previously dismounted the Bendix drive. Let's reinsert the four 6x30 screws. The tightening torque is always set at the same 12 newton meters. Next, we are going to insert the last three screws to close up the crankcase. Now let's close the clutch unit back up by inserting first the lightly lubricated Bendix drive the reference key then the well cleaned and degreased clutch and the disc spring with the concave part towards the engine.
reinsert the cover of the Bendix drive. After that, the clutch bell in a washer and the smooth side towards the crankshaft. The lightly lubricated cage or clutch bell verifying that everything is turning easily. The other outer shim ring and the nut. L'altra rondella di spessore esterna e infine il dado. Finally checking that the bell is turning easily and that there is some self-adjustment left. Now let's reassemble the ignition. The key. washer and the 17 millimeter nut. Then let's reassemble the ignition rotor. And the two 5 by 20 screws. After these steps, we are going to reassemble the air intake system with the conveyor. The gasket, which has an opening for the carburetor vacuum passage. The reed valve pack, so the position does not have an impact and does not have an effect on the gasket with the opening for the vacuum. Four screws, six by twenty five. The tightening torque wrench is always set at twelve Newton meters. Now let's reinsert the piston. First, clean the cylinder base from the excess red compound. Lightly lubricate the bearings, the connecting rod cage and the cage itself. Reinsert the rod inside the piston. 
We are going to reach the opening of the piston and after that we push the rod all the way down. At this point we take the ring and place it in the piston groove. Nella cava del pistone. Verifying that the rod does not come out. Che lo spinotto non esca. Now let's reposition the gasket. Dopodiché After this step Lubricate the piston and the inside of the cylinder liner with some oil lubricant. Con dell'olio da miscela. E l'interno della canna del cilindro. Now let's move the piston up and down two or three times to ensure they move freely. Take the O-ring and finally the head. The four spacers and the four nuts. Using a 13 mm wrench, let's screw the head nuts in. Avviciniamo i dadi della testa. The tightening torque wrench should be set at 16 newton meters. We are going to check the squeeze band with a 1.5 mm tin wire. Un filo di stagno da 1,5 mm. The piston is at top dead center or TDC. Move it slightly back and insert the tin. After this, have the piston compress the tin and check the measurement. E controlliamo la misura Then we are going to reassemble the clutch cover. Coperchio della della frizione. Finally, we reassemble the carburetor gasket, remembering to check the vacuum opening. 
arrivare il foro della depressione. And with this, we have completed the reassembly of the VLR 100 engine.